Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Killer Nacho once again, and I am here for, um, I believe, part 12 of my Pokemon White playthrough. So last time, I was in this desert ruin, so I'm just going to finish exploring this place. I got a Firestone, but I don't think I have anything to use that on, so I'll just keep it, I guess. Alright, this is a Sigilf, which is a pretty interesting Pokemon. Psychic uh, flying, so that would actually fill my flying um, need. So, you know what? I might actually try to catch this guy. Alright, let's see how much Rock Blast does. Hopefully, and it looks like I'm going to murder it. My bad. Oops. Oh, well, maybe I won't catch a Sigilf. Um, yeah. Anyway, Troll gets to level 25, which is good, since I at least get something out of this battle. Um, I get the evolution of my Troll to an even larger Troll. Now my troll is going to be even more trolling, yo. Here we go. And I don't remember the name of this thing. Um, it's apparently a Boldor. I, that's original. I did to play on the world word uh, boulder. And power gem, which I believe is a pretty powerful rock move, but it's special. It's 70 base power by the looks of things. I suppose I'll teach it. Um, it's hard to know. I guess I'll get rid of iron defense, because I never seem to use it. I know iron defense can be good for the troll in yo, but eh, what's good of a move if I'd never use it anyway? So power gem probably is more better. <laughs> more better. Is probably better. Um, yeah. I mean, it does have 100% accuracy, which is kind of nice, too, and I can use it against Pokemon that have, like, big defense, so that's my logic, anyway. So, anyway, here is a Psychic, Gavin, and he has a Sol Solosis, which is one of those that, uh, Psychic type that evolves into Reunicles. Um, so, yeah, my troll is just gonna, like, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to use, uh, throw rocks at it with Rock Blast, since I'm pretty sure it has better special defense than defense. So, yeah, now it's dead, and that's pretty nice for me. And uh, the other Pokemon he has is a Woobat. You know what, this is actually a perfect opportunity to test out Power Gem, just because I feel like it. I want to see what it looks like, I forget. He's going to use Assurance on me, which does nothing, and I... Oh, I apparently used Rock Boss again, doing a misclick. Okay, well, now I'm going to use Power Gem, because Power Gem does have, like, 100% accuracy and such, so... Yeah, Woobat is dead! Eat that, Woobat, eat that! Um, and Psychic Gaven is defeated. Poor Psychic. Okay... So I do want to test, uh, um, check out those ruins before leaving because there were like ruins over there I haven't gone in yet, and you know, being an expeditionist myself and you know, liking to pillage everything, it, obviously there might be something good in some ancient ruins if you know what I mean. All right, so Sand Isle is going to be annoying and um, lower my accuracy and such, but I learned from last video that running from Sand Isle seemed pointless, so I'm just going to try to kill it. Um, it's going to torment me, but that means I should still get one more Rock Smash, and I don't miss, so that's good, and that's a dead Sand Isle. You know, I don't know. Sand Isles are so annoying. This part is so annoying because of all these Sand Isles. I have, like, one Pokemon that can really, like, hurt Sand Isle, like, to good effect. And, um, the other ones are just annoying. But this is a, uh, Duromaka, which is a fi stupid fire monkey. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to murder it with Power Gem, since it's weak to it and stuff, and that thing has, like, paper defenses, so... Yeah, we might as well get the free, what, almost 200 experience, which is, like, nothing, but... Eh, whatever. Some Let's Players or, uh, playthroughers, they cut out the all the random encounters and such. Man... That's too much work for me, quite honestly. Not to mention, you know, you want to see everything. Anyway, if I killed your Pokemon yet, apparently I have, so that was pointless. So let's go... Oh, there's an item over here I must have missed. Almost missed this fresh water. That's, like, almost as good as a super potion. All right, so here's a Psychic I missed. And apparently because he's Psychic, he can tell I'm a trainer. Well, I'm pretty much sure, like, every trainer in the game can tell I'm a trainer, so that's really nothing special, man. I mean, you have to prove your Psychic powers in better ways than that. Anyway, so he has, she has a, um, he or she, I don't know, psychics are genderless, it seems. But anyway, um, yeah, it has this goth chick, I guess, trapped in her, his Pokeball, so I don't know what, I guess it's kind of sadistic. Maybe it's a Pokemon that just looks like a goth chick, I don't know. A goth little girl, rather, because it, yeah, okay, whatever. So, uh, the goth, gothica? Gothita. I guess that's how you say, gothita? Yeah. Kind of a dumb name. Oh well. But anyway, it's going to be dead, so that's not bad. And um, Troll is now level 26, which is not so bad. And um, yeah, I guess the battle's over now. So because I'm level 26, I can put a level 25 into my party. I will choose my Bacon, since my Bacon is like my starter and such, and everyone loves starter Pokemons. So let's go down here into the dungeon. Um, so we can find some Doom in this dungeon, which is actually just part of the Relic Castle, but whatever. So that guy's like, if you try to run through the sand, you'll fall. And if you walk through the middle, you'll fall. 
So that's kind of useful information, but something you could probably figure out through trial and error. Anyway, here's one of those Sig Elf things I tried to catch earlier, but apparently the other Sig Elf didn't like me. So, uh, yeah, let's just murder this one. I, I'll use Rollout since it's, like, super effective. I know that, I mean, leaving Bacon in, which is a fighting type against a Psychic um, flying type, probably isn't the best idea, but eh. Whatever. Um, so I'm just going to roll out. It's face off, and that's just how I'm going to roll. Air Cutter is, uh, kills me. Great. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I probably should have switched. Okay, let's go on to my fetus. Except I really don't have anything to hurt this on my fetus, since my fetus only has psychic moves. That's kind of annoying. Um, let's just put it to sleep then. <laughs> so, because I want to get fetus some experience, since it's my lowest level and such. So, yeah, it's probably a good thing to get fetus some experience and such. Anyway, so let's go out into Troll now. Because Troll be trolling. And he's going to use Psy Beam, which is actually quite effective since it's a special move. And uh, yeah, let's go for a um, Rock Blast, since Rock Blast is pretty powerful and it's super effective. Worked last time against my other, that other Sig Elf. But man, that thing like just totally destroyed my team. Wow. Um, maybe I'm going to have to catch one. You know what? I am going to catch one of those. Because th those are pretty cool Pokemons, yo. Okay, so here's Revive. Revives are pretty good. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to uh, revive my bacon and then use super potions on the rest. I mean, I guess I could go outside of the doctor, but I'm too lazy and I don't want to waste time going all the way back to the doctor just to come back here. Man. Okay. So, here is a another fight. It's a sand tile. Oh, fun. My favoriteest thing in the world. But luckily, I do have a super effective move on my bacon, which is my arm thrust, since I am a fighting type. So, let's just annihilate this for some minute experience. Yeah, very minute experience. <laughs> okay, so here's another psychic that would no doubt want to fight me. Um, apparently, just being in here fills him with magical power. That's kind of cool, actually. I wish I could be filled with magical power just entering an ancient ruin I'm about to pillage. But this guy has a Woo Bat, which is um, weak. So I am going to actually raise my speed once with my Flame Charge. I know I'm weak to flying, and that sucks, but... Alright, now that I'm faster, maybe I can get a rollout off, kill this thing, and then I can have, like, a more powerful rollout going into his next guys. But then I miss, but then he just imprisoned, so that's whatever. Alright, let's try it with rollout again. Um, and I do kill the Woobat, thank God. And, um, so that means I'll have a more powerful Woobat going... Oh, a Muna, great. I was hoping it would be one of those Steel Gills or another Woobat. Oh, well. Um, I miss with the rollout anyway, so, and he misses with Hypnosis, so I'm gonna switch, because I really can't do much to Muna on this guy. So, let's switch out into my Battle Bug, which is just the best Psychic Killer of all time, and he is going to Imprison, which may locks no moves on my Battle Bug. I don't think it locks any moves on Bacon, either. The only move it probably would is my own Fetus, so, yeah, I don't really know. Apparently I'm filled with magical power, too. That's great. I've always wanted magical power. Here's a backpacker. And, ooh, it has a fossil. And I accidentally clicked without looking. It was between the cover of the plume fossil. I'd, honestly, I'm probably not going to use them in this playthrough, so it's whatever. So apparently there's too much sand to continue, but I'm going to try anyway. But of course this guy's not going to let me. Douche. Um, let's see if I can actually just fall down one of these things to get, you know, beat him in his own game. But of course not, because those stairs were to a different chamber, apparently. Oh well. Um, so yeah, let's pick up this revive, because revives are good. And um, yeah, there appears to be a sand dial down here. Um, sand dial's a weak, but you know, it's experience, so why not kill it with my arm thrust? Because my thrusting of arms is really powerful, apparently. And anyway, um, yeah, let's go up these steps, because steps, you know, they're pretty good and stuff. Uh, stuff, I should say. Hmm, alright, Sand Dial. I suppose I'll murder another one. It does one does have Intimidate, which is kind of annoying, but... You know, even Intimidate can't intimidate my bacon, because my bacon has arm thrust, and it's gonna be a dead Sand Dial. And that's 202 experience. Guys, this is why I fight these wild encounters, to get all the EXP, yo. And another wild encounter. And this one is a Sand Dial. Oh boy. So, yeah, Sand Dial is probably going to get annihilated again. I'm actually looking for a Sig Elf right now. Now, I found the first one outside. I think you can find them inside, too, but just to be safe, I'm going to find one outside. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to go to the same patch of sand that I found my other one. After healing my Pokemon. I probably should go heal my Pokemon first. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, but, yeah. 
Anyway, so as Bacon's level 26, I'm gonna put Moon at the front of my party, because it's, um, level 25, so, yeah, there's that. Anyway, Sandile... I can't hurt Sandile at all on Muna, because I only have Psychic-type moves. This is just lovely. I can't run either, because apparently Muna's slow as crap. Um, yeah, I guess Vetus just wouldn't be able to run very fast. And it's gonna Sand Tomb me. Lovely. Uh-huh. And I can't escape. This is great, guys. I can't escape, I can't switch, and I can't even use the same move twice, and I have no attack move that can hurt a dark type on this guy. Man, I thought my last the last video with Troll was so was at the end of the video, remember? My sand I couldn't kill a sandile, but now this one's gonna be even worse. So I'd pretty much just ah, I pretty much have to just stall this thing out. Wait for I can switch. Yeah, I probably should just switch at the beginning. I really need to learn my lesson, guys. Don't run away from a sand dial. They're annoyingly fast, apparently. And, um, yeah, they have really annoying moves that trap you. Eventually, this stupid sand wall will wear off. Alright, so let's just use Moonlight. Okay. I know I'm not healing a whole lot with the sandstorm up, but it's the best thing I can really do. And, um, finally the sand tomb goes away, so that means I can switch. I will go back out into my battle bug, because my battle bug can kill dark types and ground types, and that one is both. Good job, Battle Bug. Not to mention, I want Battle Bug to start liking me, because in order to evolve it to its final form, it needs to love me. Apparently, so. Come on, Battle Bug, you can do this. I'm giving you some positive inspiration. Anyway, so here's the doctor person, so she's going to heal my Pokemon. That's pretty nice. And apparently, like, she's telling me this is a harsh place again, so. Anyway, so I'm just going to go over the same patch of, like, sand that I found my other one. I mean, I don't think there's different encounter rates, depending on which sand you're walking in, but... I guess it never hurts to try, right guys? Ah, so another sand dial. We meet again. I'm not going to make the same mistake twice in a row. I might make the same mistake twice, but not definitely not twice in a row. So I'm going to go out into my battle bug. Um, yeah, to, you know, kill this guy. Mud slap is annoying at best. Hopefully I can kill this thing in one hit. Uh, yep, that's a dead sand dial. Eat it, jerk. Okay. So, I don't know how long it's gonna... This is the sand I found it in before, because I remember I just got the Firestone, and that's where I saw it, so... Yeah, I know this is the sand that I, I saw it in before, so hopefully I'll see another one here. Okay, so... Oh, great, another sand dial. Is, like, sand dial the only thing here? Like, I know there's supposed to be sand dials here, Rog and Rollas, um, Sig Ilfs, and then that Fire Monkey thing. Why is the only thing I'm seeing is sand dial? <laughs> I guess it's, like, the most common thing here, but still... It's like every encounter is a sand dial. Anyway, I think I misclicked a new struggle bug, which is weaker than, you know, bug bite or razor leaf, so that was a misclick. Oops, my bad, guys. Hopefully I can just hit next time and end this battle quickly. And I don't, of course. And I think it's... Did it use Torment? I don't even remember. Whatever, I'll just use... Okay. That works. Now it's using Torment. Um, so let's just use bug bite and finish off this match. How many sand have I killed in this battle, in this, uh, video? I must have killed, like, 20 by now. Maybe not quite that much, but you get the idea. Anyway, this gives at least gives me an opportunity to use uh, Super Potion on my um, Battle Bug. That'll make him like me. Or her. And that's what I really want to do, is get that thing evolved. Finally a Sig Elf! Oh, thank God. Alright, so, I guess the best thing I can do with my Fetus, since it has absolutely nothing to hurt this guy, because I only have Psychic moves, the best thing I can really do is use Yawn to make it fall asleep. And it's going to Psy Beam me, which does nothing, so, yeah, there's that. And, um... Oh, look at that. It's taking no damage from the sandstorm. That means it must have magic guard. Do all sick elves have magic guard? I don't remember. But this one does. I'm actually going to look it up. Um, yeah, I think I think they can have another ability. I'm not going to look it up right now. But, yeah, point taken. This one has magic guard, and magic guard is a great ability that I want. So, that's good. Anyway, so, um, I don't know why I went into battle bug. Probably just to use bug bite, because I don't think that'll do too much. And it looks like it's actually doing annoyingly a lot, so... I don't know. Um, what am I going to do now? I guess I'll just try a Great Ball. It's asleep and it's at yellow health. I don't know what the catch rate on this guy. Apparently it's pretty high. This guy's pretty hard to catch. Okay, so, now it's going to Psy Wave me. And um, that's going to actually hurt my Battle Bug down to red health. So that's not good. I want my Battle Bug to love me, so I can't really let it die. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's go back into Muna, because I don't think I've seen anything that can um, hurt Muna yet. Except it might have that, um, what, Air Cutter move that the other one is using on me. So that's like the only thing it can really hurt Fetus with. Um, it might have that. 
so, okay, I guess I'll just... No, I'm, I'm gonna use a super potion on my battle bug right now, because I want it to love me, and I don't want it to be asleep. After, of course, yawning this thing, to put this thing back to sleep. Wait, I want it to love me and not die. Not... <laughs> whatever. Okay, I'm using a super potion on my battle bug, guys. Because the more potions I use on it, and, you know, the more it'll love me. At least that's my logic. Alright, so it's gonna use, um... A psychic move. So that's going to tickle. And, um... Yeah, I guess I'll just use side beam. It'll do. It shouldn't do too much. Oh, it gets him down to red health. That's good. And do the sandstorm. He's not going to get any weaker than that, so I don't have to really worry about him killing himself to the sandstorm. So let's just start throwing balls at it. Um, here we go. Great ball. Alrighty. Uh, yes, caught Sigilf. Nice. Now Sig or uh, Sigilf. I don't know. Sigolif. Oh, maybe it's Sigolif. Yeah, I think Sigolif. It's his real name. Sorry if I've been mispronouncing this whole time, I just don't know. Anyway, I did use this in a Wi-Fi battle once. I named it Pinata. And um, I think that's how you probably spell Pinata. Actually, I better look it up, because I don't want to, like, accidentally, you know, type it in wrong. Let's see, Pinata. Okay, so I did spell it right. Um, I wonder if that weird N, if there's a weird N in here. Let me, uh, let's look for it, just to make it even better. I don't see it, though. I don't see the weird N symbol as an option. So, uh, yeah. Maybe it is, but I can't find it, so screw it. I'm just going to use the regular N. But anyway, now that I'm thinking about it, let's look at its moves at... Uh, let's move it to the front of my party first. I want to actually heal it because it's like red health and asleep. I'll look at its moveset later. Um, actually, now I'm thinking about it, what's the point of having two psychic types? You know what, guys? In every single playthrough I drop a Pokemon, I think that Pokemon is Fetus this time around. I mean, I haven't been impressed with Fetus lately, and this Pokemon should be more versatile because it's also Flying-type. Not to mention, I think I evolved my Fetus too soon, so I missed out on a lot of good moves, so... You know what? Yeah, I kinda screw Fetus. I'm going to stick it in the PC next time I get a chance. Um, but now Pinata's in the front of my party, and it doesn't have um, Air Cutter yet, so I guess it's going to learn that, you know, at a later level. But it is it looks it looks like a pretty good Pokemon here, and um, I know sorry Fetus fans, it's I don't know, I prefer my Pinata. That'll give me down to four members again, which gives me a little more you know wiggle room, allowing me to choose Pokemon I actually like. So yeah, I don't know. Sigil kind of fills. I mean, it has the same exact moves as my um, Muna does, pretty much. I mean, it has two attack moves. I have Psy Beam and um, the other Psy thing, Psy Wave. So it has the same two moves right now. It'd be kind of redundant to have them both. So, sorry, Muna. I don't... Uh, sorry, my fetus. I guess I'm just going to abort my fetus. Yep, that's... That's cliche, but that's how I'm going to roll. Alright, so here's a backpacker. That should give me some exp um, chance to e EXP up my pinata. And he has a Pidov, which is weak. So that will indeed give me an excellent opportunity just to use my pinata. Um, I would really like to level it up so it can learn Air Cutter, because I really kind of want a flying move on my team, because flying is a pretty useful type. I mean, it's kind of pointless not to have a, fly a flying type without a flying move, you know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, let's go in here. I guess this is the next town. Oh, great, it's that guy, Sharon and Professor Juniper, which is great. What about electric types? Oh, goody, electric types. Oh, freebies, I like freebies. Thank you. Ultra Balls! Man, we're moving up in the world! Man, I just used one of my last Great Balls, and now I have Ultra Balls? Heck yeah! Okay. Well, go on and say it. Oh. I guess I will try to have a good time. I mean, that's why I'm playing this game. Seems kind of pointless to, like, have an adventure without having a good time. That's great, Sharon. You know how much I care about what you're saying? Not at all. Okay. Have fun. I'm just gonna go this way. Hi, old man. What's up? Electric bulletin board. I would rather not. All right. So here is um Nimbasa City. Oh crap! It's those jerks, Team Plasma, and they're beating up an old man. What jerks? They've stooped to a whole new low here. Apparently, it's the daycare man. Wait. I'm just like a 14-year-old kid. Whatever. I can beat up Team Plasma. I guess if you want to, like, hide behind a kid to save yourself, even though apparently you have a bunch of Pokemon at your disposal, fine. Fine. 
Alright, here's a Watchog. That gives me a perfect opportunity to finally level up my Pinata. Alright, so... Uh, this thing should be worth some decent experience. It's going to detect me, which is pointless, as I use Psybeam. Um, so let's try using Psybeam again. Oh, I outspeed, too. That's cool. I guess this uh, pinata is a pretty fast pinata. Very nice. It's going to crunch me. That hurts because it's super effective, but this should kill it, and it does. Very good, and I get a whole 713 experience. And um, the last other Pokemon he has is a Trubbish, which is a poison type, so that won't stand a chance against my Psybeam. Pretty epic, I know, guys. And that's a dead Trubbish. Awesome. And, oh, there we go. Pinata's level 21. And I can delete a move for Air Cutter. Perfect. That's what I wanted. And I will remove the crappy Tailwind attack that I have pretty much no idea what it does. Okay, I think it actually reverses speeds, but since my Pinata is apparently really fast, it would be pointless to have. Um, okay, so they're going to hide in the amusement park. I guess I can finish them off next video since I am running out of time. I ran out of time in the past 20 minutes. Oh, sweet, a bicycle. Man, when you give out presents for helping people, you give them... It's like, a, bicycles are like 300 bucks, man. You're, you're such a friend. Kind of expensive gift. Makes those Ultra Balls look like nothing. Oh, crud. Why? Why are you here? That's great. Have fun. Whatever, I'm done with this video, guys. Um, actually, no, hold on. I'm actually going to look for an item that I can put on my piñata. And I really don't have any great options. I mean, I guess you could put on the amulet coin for extra monies per battle, but I, uh, probably the best thing I have is Quick Claw. I don't really have the uh, flying boost item yet. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just give it Quick Claw for now. Seems like the best thing. Oh, oh well. Alright, so that should do it. Actually, what does Muna have? I don't remember. I guess I'll put... Whatever. I'll, I'll look the next video. Right, comment, subscribe, guys. See you later.